Bali Cost of Travel Planning a Bali trip but worried about expenses? Look no further! Hello and welcome to Paradise Planet! In this video, we will cover all you need to know about Bali before going on your trip. From accommodation, food, to local transportation. We will break down costs so you can plan your trip with ease. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of Bali travel. Before going into details, what's the average cost to plan a trip to Bali? Well, a Bali trip for two people for two weeks will cost you an average of 3,000 US dollars, covering flights, accommodation, food, activities, and local transport. However, the actual cost may vary based on your travel plan. So, now let's look into some factors that can impact your expenses. Number one, we have flights. How much are flights to Bali? The cost of airfare to Bali varies depending on your departure location, airline, and time of year. If you're flying from the United States, you can expect to spend around $1,500 on a return ticket on average. However, this cost may fluctuate depending on your departure city and the airline you choose. For example, flights departing from New York tend to be more expensive than those from Los Angeles. Additionally, if you're planning to travel during peak season, which is typically from June to August, you can expect to pay even more. Anyway, the same on airfare is to book your flights well in advance, ideally several months prior to your departure date. By doing so, you may be able to secure a lower price for your tickets. If you are flying from Europe or Australia, your airfare to Bali may be more affordable depending on your route and layovers. Return flights from London to Bali, for example, typically start at around $700 US but can exceed $1,500 if you're looking for a more direct route. Keep in mind that these prices are just estimates and can fluctuate depending on various factors. It's always a good idea to compare prices across different airlines and travel booking websites to find the best deal on your Bali flights. Number 2 is Accommodation How much is accommodation in Bali? Accommodation costs in Bali vary widely, with prices ranging from budget-friendly to luxurious. Hostels are a popular choice for budget travelers, with prices starting at around 15 US dollars per night. Mid-range and budget hostels are also plentiful, with rates typically ranging from $20 to $50 US dollars per night. For those looking for a more luxurious experience, high-end hostels can cost upwards of $300 US dollars per night. Airbnbs are another popular option in Bali, with prices starting at around $50 US dollars per night. With such a wide range of options available, it's easy to find affordable accommodation that meets your needs and budget. Despite the availability of high-end accommodation, there is really no need to spend big bucks when traveling in Bali. Even with a budget of under 100 US dollars per night, you can find comfortable and high-quality accommodations that will make your stay enjoyable. For those traveling on a tight budget, we recommend staying in hostels or Airbnbs to save money on accommodation. This will allow you to allocate more funds towards activities and local cuisine, making the most of your Bali experience. With so many affordable options available, Bali is a great destination for travelers looking to explore on a budget. Moving on, another cost factor is food. So how much does food cost in Bali? Let's find out! When it comes to food, Bali offers a range of options to suit all budgets and it's worth saying that eating out in Bali is relatively inexpensive. Street food is one of the most affordable options with prices as low as $1 US dollars for a full meal. On the other hand, sit-down restaurants tend to be more expensive with a meal for two with drinks costing around 30 US dollars or more. To experience the local culture and cuisine, 
we recommend trying as much street food as possible. Not only is it delicious, but it is also an affordable way to sample authentic Balinese flavors. Local markets and food stalls are great places to start. For those interested in learning more about Balinese cuisine, taking a cooking class is a fantastic way to do so. These classes are widely available and allow you to learn how to prepare traditional dishes while also gaining insight into local food culture. Overall, the cost of food in Bali is relatively affordable, especially if you stick to street food in local markets. By sampling local cuisine, you will not only save money but also experience the rich and diverse flavors that Bali has to offer. Number 4. Alcohol How much does alcohol cost in Bali? If you are a beer lover, then Bali won't disappoint you. Beer is relatively inexpensive on the island, with a small bottle of Bintang, the popular Indonesian beer, costing around 2 US dollars in restaurants. For those who prefer a larger bottle, the price is usually approximately 3.50 US dollars. It is worth noting that alcohol prices can vary depending on where you purchase it. Hostels and bars in tourist areas may have higher prices than local shops and convenience stores. In addition to beer, Bali also offers a wide range of cocktails, wines, and spirits. If you're planning on enjoying some cocktails at a bar or a nightclub in Bali, be prepared to spend around $8 to $10 on average per drink. Of course, the cost may vary depending on where you go, the type of cocktail you order, and whether you are in a tourist area or not. Overall, if you are looking for affordable beer in Bali, Bintang is a popular and inexpensive option. While alcohol prices can vary, you can usually expect to pay similar prices to those mentioned above. Just remember to drink responsibly and factor in the cost of alcohol when budgeting for your trip. Next up is cost of activities. So, what's the cost of activities in Bali? In case you don't know, Bali offers a plethora of activities that suit every budget and interest. While many activities are free, such as exploring the beaches, hiking scenic trails, and admiring the rice fields in Ubud, some require a fee. The good news is that most of these activities are relatively affordable and you can easily budget for them. For instance, the entrance fee for popular sites like the Ubud Monkey Forest is around 10 US dollars per person. If you are interested in unique experiences like scuba diving or riding ATVs around Mount Batur, expect to spend around $50 to $100 per day for each activity. Keep in mind that prices can vary depending on the season and the tour operator. Make sure to do some research beforehand and shop around for the best deals. With so many options available, you are sure to find something that fits your budget and interest. This list won't be complete without talking about cost of transportation in Bali. Getting around Bali is affordable and convenient. The most popular mode of transportation is by renting a scooter, which can cost as little as 5 US dollars per day. Public buses are also a cheap option, with fares only costing a few dollars per journey. Alternatively, you can hire a private driver for about 50 US dollars per day. For shorter distances, Grab and Gojek are excellent ride hailing apps, functioning similar to Uber. However, certain tourist areas may not be accessible to these services due to local regulations. It's important to note that road conditions in Bali can be challenging and traffic can be heavy in certain areas, particularly during peak season. Most importantly, ensure you wear a helmet if riding a scooter and always exercise caution on the roads. Now, if you feel the service you've been offered while in Bali is worthy a tip, the question is, what is the appropriate amount to tip in Bali? Well, tipping practices in Bali are not mandatory, but it is a common courtesy to live a small gratuity to show appreciation for good service. The general guideline for tipping in Bali is to live around 10% of the total bill at restaurants or for services such as massages or taxi rides. 
However, the amount you tip is ultimately up to your discretion and budget. For small transactions, rounding up to the nearest whole number is a common practice. It is worth noting that some high-end restaurants and hotels may include a service charge in the bill, so it's always a good idea to check before leaving an additional tip. And finally, if you are looking to save money in Bali, how much should be saved? If you are looking to save money while in Bali, then staying in hostels or Airbnbs can bring the daily cost down significantly. So having that in mind, you can have a budget for hostels at $15 per night. Then with street food being the cheapest option, meals from a local warung can cost you let's say as little as $2 US dollars. If you plan on drinking alcohol, keep in mind that prices for beer and cocktails can vary depending on where you go. But on a minimum scale, you can spend as low as $2 US dollars. Then regarding transportation, a taxi from the airport to Ubud, for example, will cost around 40 US dollars. And lastly, as regards activities to engage in, you could pay anything from $10 to 50 US dollars per activity, depending on what you're doing, and most days it will be the lower end of that scale. Overall, with a budget of 100 US dollars per day per person, you should be able to have a comfortable and enjoyable two weeks in Bali. And with a total of 1,500 US dollars per person plus flight costs, you should be able to have an unforgettable two week stay in Bali. So, as you can see from the cost breakdown, a trip to Bali doesn't have to be expensive. With careful spending, it's possible to visit Bali even on a tight budget. If you enjoyed this video, please share, like, and subscribe for more travel related contents. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!